final lap here at Michigan. Hosevar trying to hold on on the high side, use that momentum against Byron. Byron still pulling up as they go down the back stretch. They're side by side, contact. Byron goes around. Hosevar pulling away, now challenged by Ty Gibbs on the outside. They race through three and four. Byron still spinning, and Hosevar is going to pull away off of turn four. He will get a win that gets him into the playoffs. And you know what? People are going to be upset. People aren't going to like that. But if you're Carson Hosevar, that is what you have to do to get your team and your sponsors into the playoffs. Coming down the back stretch for the final time, into three and four at Daytona, Hamlin and Bush with a massive run on the leader, Ricky Stenhouse Jr. There is no way Stenhouse can win this without a block. They are coming way too fast. Here it comes. Hamlin shoots low. They're both low, almost into the grass in the trioval. And Ricky Stenhouse Jr. is going to hold on to win it here at Daytona. And to be fair to Stenhouse, there is absolutely nothing wrong with going below the line to block someone. You cannot go below the line to advance your position, but you can absolutely go below to block someone. He was doing exactly what he needed to do. Love it for this 47 team. They really needed that win, and it's going to get them into the playoffs. Problems for the leader. Noah Gragson coming out of two, maybe sputtering low on gas. Big run for Reddick. He's going to take the lead. Playoffs on the line for Gragson into the corner. Big contact, tried to wall ride and made contact with the 45 of Reddick. Both these cars limp into the line, they're damaged. Gregson all over the track. Big run from Bowman, huge contact at the line. And I don't know, I think Gregson held on for the win on that. Your mind goes back one week ago to Sinhouse and his block that got him into the playoffs. You know, sometimes you just have to throw the block. And it's hard to say at what point is it too much. 50 miles per hour faster, 70 miles per hour faster. You have to make that split second decision to put both of your lives at risk. Come on, Kyle, do it now. Pull the chute, pull the chute. Whoa, look out! Kyle Larson hard on the brakes right in front of the whole field. That lets Chase Elliott and Alex Bowman shoot past. Looks like Chase Elliott gonna get the win here at Atlanta. Wow, I mean, you heard the radio. That was very much a team play. Got Chase Elliott to the next round, but uh, not, I did not know you could do that. I mean, well, Larson's still gonna make it through without the win. Oh yeah, no, he'll be fine. I'm sure he'll be fine. Yeah. He's fast. Dylan trying to hold on to the lead. Alex Bowman with a little bit of a run coming down the back stretch, and they hook together. The threes in the door of the 48. He's still in his door. He's, he's still in his door. All right, now he's pinned up against the wall. All right, he's still pinned up against the wall. All right, finally, Alex wrestles his way free. That's the aggression that you're looking for here in the playoffs, though, isn't it? Jeff? Yeah, all right, sure, whatever. An ongoing feud here between the 77 of Josevar and the 22 of Joey Logano. You gotta wonder, will there be sparks? Big contact, they're wrestling on the pits. Oh, he done flipped them over. Hosevar gets flipped over by Logano. You gotta love to see this shit. This is what I'm here for. Oh, this shit's awesome. Go fuck him up. Go fuck him up. Go, don't take that shit from him. He saved enough fuel, but the leaders still caught him anyway. Now it's just a matter of minimizing losses as the leaders come by. A little bit of contact. That looked accidental. I would not blame him for that. And oh gosh, okay. A little bit more contact. I think, I kind of think the five came up, honestly. He might still have a chance at the win here. And oh, whoa, even more contact. The 24 is around. That was probably the wind, and that was probably a ghost. I don't think Ricky did anything wrong. Oh gosh, I hope that guy's okay. It would appear Noah Gregson is threatening to not allow the field to start the race here at Talladega. He is saying he is scared that he might get into an accident and that he would like NASCAR to give him a bye into the next round. We're waiting to hear film officials. And yes, they will give the number 10 car a free bye to the next round of the playoffs. That is absolutely a big win for him, and it is very dangerous to race at Talladega. No one asked, Jeff. Stop being a pussy. Apparently, Brad Keselowski is sitting out in the grass with a sign that says free playoff points. We'll see if anyone falls for it. Here comes the field. Oh, they're all in it. Oh, hook, line, and stinker. They all fell for his clever ruse. What the fuck are you talking about? 
Bell still out here with the 3.5 second lead. Just going to try to bring it home here today at Las Vegas. Oh, my yeah, God. There we go. Oh, God. Championship oh, I think I'm actually going to throw up. That's the way. Oh, my God. Yeah, baby. Oh, what That's are you talking what it's all about? about? Man, he's not even in the playoffs. That's Fuck not you, all right. in the playoffs. You saw that shit. Coming in for the final round of pit stops here at Homestead. See Bubble Wallace coming down pit road. There we go. That's the violence I'm looking for, baby. Oh, come on, Jeff. You know what it's like for these guys. Weren't you a racer once? Of course. Were you any good? Oh, no, and Jeff Gordon. He's over at the exit oh, of Turtle and Jeff Burton involved. Of course. Getting ready to go here at Martinsville. Whoever comes out on top today will earn the final spot into the championship four at Phoenix. You gotta wonder, Jeff, is the pressure getting to these drivers? God, gee, Rick, I don't know. What do you think? Here we are at Phoenix to crown the champion of the 2024 NASCAR Cup Series season. Of course, your final four led by Austin Dillon, then by Corey LaJoy, who was not initially in the playoffs, but we thought it'd be fun to let him in. Then you have Ricky Stenhouse Jr., who's always been a hero of mine personally. And there's one other driver, but I don't think he's made it to the track yet. Oh, wait, here he comes now. It's the Mach 5, driven by Speed Racer. Oh, my God, you did. You know I did. <laughs> Speed Racer in the Mach 5 is smashing a lot of the racers out of the match. He's a top contender for the championship. We are on the cause to make it! Come on, Ricky! 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 Come on, This is what it's all about, championship racing. Drivers putting everything out on the line for a place in history. Go to hell, Rick. <laughs>